Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you how to update your rooted Nexus 6P to the latest May security update. Or in fact, just an Android update. So as you can see here, I'm on the April 2nd security update on the MHC 19Q, and today we're gonna to be updating to the MTC 19T, which is fantastic. So we're gonna do this while preserving root, and these are the things we'll need to download. So first off, we're gonna to need to download the Android Tools folder, and this just, uh, sorry not folder, zip file, which pretty much includes adb.exe, the two DLLs, and fastboot, which is we're, something that we need. If you already have this, don't worry, you won't need to download it. Next up, we have the factory image for the Nexus 6P, and in fact, we have the latest one, the MTC19T. Just click on this link to download it, and just save it somewhere. And last but not least, uh, you'll need to have the latest version of SuperSU, which at the time of making this video is 2.71. And also if you have any other modules or mods such as Exposed and things like that, or Layers installed, you may want to uninstall Layers first, and for Exposed, you want to reinstall the framework after flashing the update. So with all those three files downloaded, I put them all into a one little folder named Android. I'm just going to move the camera a little bit so we can see this better. Okay. So everything's in a little folder called Android, and we're going to start things up. So first off, you want to copy the latest SuperSU to your device. So go ahead and plug it in to the USB, and make sure our device has been set to use uh, the USB for file transfers, so our device actually pops up. Put your device down, and then we're going to copy the SuperSU image. Just make sure you have it there, so I'm going to copy it, I already have it there. Let's just copy it, and as you can see, it's right there. So we can close that, we can leave our device plugged in. And what we're going to do is open our factory image here. I realize there's a bit of a tint, might uh, see if that's better. So now we have our factory image, and we're just going to extract it out. Just drag it out like that, the folder. And if you don't see a folder, make sure the extension on that file is tgz and not tar or zip or anything like that. So close this and you have this folder. Open up the Android Tools folder as well. Kind of move it aside a little. Open up the extracted factory image folder and we're just going to extract all these four files into the base directory just like that. Now here we're going to do some special things. Instead of extracting the images out of this zip file, all of these, we're just going to flash the zip as a whole uh, through Fastboot, which is pretty awesome. And I've seen it work for the past couple updates now. Before it just didn't work properly. So to get started, we're going to power off our device. That's good. And we're also going to now going to reboot into the bootloader. So hold the power button and volume down, and that should boot you into the bootloader real quick. There we go. Now, all we need to do is plug in our USB and set that aside. Now, what you want to do on the computer here is hold Shift and right click in an empty space. Go down to Open Command Window here, and I'll just move it side by side so we can see what I'm doing and what I'm typing. Okay, so first off, we want to see if our device is successfully connected into Fastboot. So just type in Fastboot Devices. And as you can see, it's here in Fastboot. Next command, we're going to flash the bootloader. So type in Fastboot, space, flash, space, bootloader, space, and we're going to drag the bootloader image onto the command window, just like that, and hit enter. Then we're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader. So type in Fastboot, uh, reboot, dash, bootloader. Just like that, hit enter, and now device will reboot into the bootloader. Wait for it to go back into the same screen. Once it has, we can flash the radio now, and that goes by typing fastboot, flash radio, leave a space on the end, and drag the image onto the command window, hit enter again, and this will write the radio, and what we're going to do is press the up arrow key on our keyboard twice, and that will get us to our previous, to previous command, and we're going to hit enter again. So we're just going to reboot into the bootloader once more, and now we can start flashing the image. So we don't want to erase data, so we're going to type in fastboot, flash, I mean, sorry, fastboot, update, 
and let's just drag the image in. Now this will start, I guess, um, examining the zip file and then seeing what files it will need to flash. If you want to erase data, you would need to add a dash w onto that command. This will flash the recovery, however, which is probably not a good idea. So in the meantime, we'll leave that um, b in the front. And what you want to do is download the latest TWRP. Sorry, this video has already become a little bit muddled. I do apologize for that. I didn't. I just forgot it flashed the recovery. So just download the latest TWRP for Angular, which is our device make and model. And the current version is 3.0.2-0. And I already have that somewhere. So download TWRP if you don't have a handy. We're just going to simply reflash it, which sometimes we have to do anyway after flashing these. So I'm going to copy it back into our... We'll just, I'll just put it in my factory image folder. So there it is. You can see here it's still flashing the system images in little sparse packages I guess. And yeah, so sorry about that. Forgot about that thing flashing TW, I mean stock recovery. So I'm just going to wait um, a little bit more for this for it to flash and we're going to flash the recovery after and then we're going to flash super su so now sending the vendor image and as you can see it hasn't touched our or it hasn't touched our user data which is good so it does reboot the phone unfortunately again so all you need to do is hold all the buttons down or at least the power button for 10 seconds or less so just hold it till the screen goes black and then quickly let go and place your fingers on the power and volume down button excuse me and that will get you back into the bootloader so now we're going to, to we're going to flash TWRP. So that goes by doing fastboot flash recovery. Leave a space on the end here, and then drag in our recovery image. Hit enter, and now we're going to reboot into the recovery. So to do that, all you need to do is press volume down once, uh, twice from the start. So reboot bootloader, and then we have recovery mode. It's a little red. Um, triangle or indicator and press power to select it. Now for future reference I guess you could open up the image zip and delete the recovery image and it won't flash it. So I could do that next time but I prefer leaving everything intact even though we do have the full image um, copied as well. But uh, just as good practice I guess. So here we are booting into TWRP 3.0.2 and okay you will need a modified boot image, I believe, for systemless root. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe to allow modifications. If you are planning on using Android Pay or already have an existing setup that works with that, just do what you normally do when rooting your phone, pretty much. So I'm going to hit install. I'm going to swipe down. I'm going to flash SuperSU 2.71. Now it's going to mount the partitions here and start flashing accordingly. Alrighty, so now we're done. I'm just going to hit reboot system and we're going to see our phone boot all the way up into Android rooted on the using or on the May update. So there we go, that was pretty quick. I'll turn on the brightness a bit so we can see. And let's check uh, SuperSU first. Here it is, laying down there at the bottom. No thanks. You can see it works. And then it will tell us if our binaries weren't installed properly. We go to settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, go to about phone. As you can see, we're on the 1st of May update, running 6.0.1 with our MTC 19T installed. So guys, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below in the comments. And I'll talk to you in the next one.